and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new around here, my name's Sophie. I make videos on cleaning, budgeting, organising and lifestyle. And for today's video, as you can see in the title, is my birth story. So I have a two week old, nearly two week old, two weeks tomorrow. Um, and I've really wanted to try and sit down and film this video, but you know what it's like if you've got a newborn? I literally don't have time at all to do it or to even film. I'm tired, so I might <laughs> might not be. I might be slurring my words slightly, but I really, really, really want to wanted to share my birth story. And yeah, it's it's a crazy one. Um, I have shared a little bit on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, head over. It's at Super Scrimming Soph. Um, but I wanted to do a little intro and then I've got a little bit of footage. I didn't film the actual birth, but I filmed like the before bits and I'll pop some little um, photos in as well. Um, but I think this is a positive birth story. I don't want to title it as positive birth because um, afterbirth was quite traumatic. Um, so I just wanted to warn people now, if you don't feel up to like listening, that's absolutely fine. Um, just turn it off. Um, but like I said, the actual birth was absolutely amazing. So positive, um, but afterwards was a little bit traumatic. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna um, stop filming now show you the footage of what I've got and then um, we'll come back and explain everything after birth. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy it um, and yeah, here we go. Okay, so it's the 2nd of September and it's 12 o'clock and I've just had a bath um, and I wiped <laughs> and it went for a wee and I wiped and there was quite a lot of mucus i don't know if it's my mucus plug or not but i just wanted to document it so this could be the start of my birth video but yeah anyway no pains no other symptoms nothing at all just that so yeah 12 o'clock on the 2nd of september so it's quarter to nine on Sunday the 5th of September, um, my due date, I'm getting some twinges lower down. I'm not sure if baby's just putting pressure down below or it's like periody pains. They're not like on and off though, so I'm not sure, but we'll see. Okay, so it's now Wednesday the 8th of September, I'm three days overdue. Um, this morning when I was having my breakfast, um, I felt like a little bit of water come out. I'm not sure if it was like mucus plug or... It was definitely not wee, <laughs> let's put it that way. But it was more like liquid rather than mucusy. Um, so I've had a shower, I've put like a pad on, so I'm just gonna try and stay like up, standing up. I've not got any pains whatsoever. I had a few twinges last night, but I just don't know if it's in my head or what. So yeah, I think my mum and my sister are gonna come and meet me for a little walk in a bit. It's so hot though. It's like 28 degrees again today. Um, so yeah, that's basically the update. So it's currently the 13th of September. Um, still haven't had a baby. Um, so this morning at seven, I had to get up and do a COVID swab just in case I have to have an induction, a COVID um, test. So we've got to send that off. And then I've had, I think, I believe I've had my bloody show. So. We're just waiting, basically, but um, yeah, thought I'd update on here. So guys, little update. It's the same day 
um, it's about quarter to nine at night and I've had a few more like episodes of a bloody show. Um, I've been getting some like lower twinges, like mild period type pains, but I feel it more when I'm on the ball and it's more constant. I wouldn't say it's like coming and going. So I've come to bed to try and relax, put Gavin and Stacey on because it's my go-to um, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I'll be having a baby soon, but if not, oh well, it's another day. We'll see. So guys, a little bit of an update. So yesterday was the 14th of September and I had a sweep done. The sweep didn't work. The midwife couldn't reach my cervix because the baby's head was in the way. This happened last week as well. So I was really disheartened because I thought things were moving and shifting. Um, but it looks like they're in the same position. I have my induction book for tomorrow, which will be... Today is the 15th, tomorrow is the 16th. Um, I keep thinking I'm having some sort of cramps, tightenings down there but I just don't know if it's in my head I'm trying not to focus on it too much um but we'll see something could happen tonight if not induction process will begin tomorrow so yeah I'm in bed now I'm wide awake it's about 10 o'clock had a nap earlier so I'm gonna try and listen to some positive affirmations and get myself in a good frame of mind and we'll ring the hospital in the morning if nothing has happened tonight so exciting so it's induction day hey. <laughs> just bouncing on the ball um with I have rang them this morning and they said that they'd ring me back in an hour and it's just been an hour now so I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to give it a little bit and then maybe ring them back but feeling okay. Um, I just want to know what's happening really. So yeah, 16th of September. Liam's playing PlayStation obviously. Um, and Don't want me to do anything, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're literally just waiting and bouncing, playing Tetris on my phone. Um, so yeah, that's the update. So it's now 10 to 1 and I rang the hospital. Basically they're full, so I'm on a waiting list, which is shit because I just want to know a time. If they said like five o'clock, I could get my head around it, but they haven't. So we've come out. We've come out and got a nice sandwich. Um, need some distraction. I'm in my blooming labour outfit, aren't I? Don't know why I did that. <laughs> um, it's very hot. It's a nice day today. So feeling a little bit deflated, had a bit of a cry, but... I just think you get your head around these dates and I'm already anxious as it is about having an induction. So yeah, a bit rubbish, but it is what it is. Liam's just going to get a Costa. Um, but hopefully they said that I should know a plan later and that they might get me into triage because I need to look at my cervix because it's... Um, it's like 11 days overdue so yeah that's the, that's the situation here's baby boy and my sandwiches so it is now quarter past five and I'm going in for an outpatient pessary so I'm gonna have a pessary done and come home because they haven't got room in the hospital it's the only thing they can do um, if I get there and 
um, I'm needing to stay in. They're not going to perform the pessary and they're just going to wait till tomorrow. I could technically be waiting till Sunday at this point because they don't like to leave it till 14 days overdue and I'm currently 11 days. So that's the update. Trying to be calm. Um, so yeah, we're just on the way now. So I've just got to the labour suite where I'm having the pessary done. It's so nice in here. The lights are dimmed, it smells like aromatherapy. So I assume this is where I'll have baby, but I think we'll be going home later. Liam's just gone to get my drink from the car. Feeling quite calm and relaxed. had a scan and baby is in it back to back. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. So I've just had the pessary inserted and it's really good news. So my cervix is, what did she say, favourable? Favourable. And it's, a, I was like, what's that please? She's like, it's really good. It's at the front, it's thin, soft, and I'm two centimetres dilated. So all these like tightenings, cramps and stuff have actually been, I guess, mild, mild contractions. So um, I've got to be on the monitor now for half an hour. Um, check everything's okay. If it is, then we go for a walk for an hour and then come back. And if oh, all that walk for an hour, if all okay, <laughs> um, we go home. But she's really happy with everything so far, and um, so are we. We're so happy. So, give me all these oxytocin vibes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Mm. 
an intense couple of hours, isn't it? You are doing so well. You are incredible and I love you. I feel very cool with this in your face, but <laughs> one day we'll be oh. you it. Doing so well, baby. Doing so well. I love you. there we go that is my baby boy brought into the world Otis Patrick um so I'll sort of explain in detail what actually happened so I went to the hospital on Thursday uh, the 16th of September and um, we had a pessary I had a pessary fitted it wasn't exactly what I wanted but I, at this point I was getting very uncomfortable and I just really wanted my baby here so I just thought I wanted to do something also I was told he was back to back so I didn't know if it that was causing the fact that I wasn't going to labour um all these things were going around my head so anyway we decided to go to the hospital on Thursday I think it was about five o'clock um had this pessary fitted um, I was going to be an outpatient, so I was going to be sent home and come back 24 hours later to potentially have my waters broke. Um, I went for a walk around the hospital because that's what you need to do. And within half an hour, I was starting to get cramps, um, contractions, surges. Um, and little did I know I was going into labour very fast. Um, I managed to have some food which was amazing because I think that actually really helped. Um, and we went back to be monitored because you have to go for a walk and then go back and be monitored. Um, and I was having contractions a ridiculous amount, like six in 10 minutes with no break in between. So I think the midwife was like, mm, you're not going home tonight. You're going to have this baby. Um, oh, also, I don't know if I've put the footage on, but uh, when she inserted the pessary, I was already two centimetres, so I'd done a lot of work at home myself, not even realising. Um, so I don't know, maybe having the pessary fitted, like I probably would have gone into labour on my own, but I don't regret it at all. Like it just sped things up for us, really. But obviously, I was in a lot of pain. I was saying to Liam as well, I feel like I'm being a wimp. Like, should this pain be this bad at this point? Like, I'm definitely going to need some drugs or something but little did I know I was very I was going into active labour so five hours later the pessary got taken out because the midwife was like this isn't right um I felt myself pushing as well I think I've got a little bit of footage of that anyway pessary was taken out five hours after being put in we walked down to the sanctuary um I got in the birth pool in fact she was she put me in the birth pool even um, whilst filling it up because she thought it was going to happen fast anyway contractions started to like ease up like in a good way as in they were coming every three minutes uh, sorry having three in ten minutes but I was getting that break in between which was just amazing anyway she tried to do the his heart rate and couldn't because I was in the water so asked me to come out I was absolutely fine with doing that um, got on the bed she did his heart rate and it was do dropping a little bit so it was like we need to get baby out as soon as not I was really fine I wasn't anxious or worried or anything like that I was pushing as well um, so I think from getting out of the pool he was born 45 minutes later the pushing experience was euphoric like it was just amazing um, on Another note as well, I only had gas and air 
um i felt everything um very proud of myself but you know what like if i think because it was very quick that's why i didn't have many drugs i think if it was a long labor potentially would have had some more drugs who knows um so anyway he was born and it was the best moment of my life um I think there's other bits as well that I've probably missed out, but I'll, <laughs> I'll probably explain more in detail on another video. Um, anyway, he was put on my chest. Best moment. Me and Liam had photos. It was just lovely. Anyway, oh, I had, I've missed out a massive chunk. I had to have an episiotomy because his heart rate was dropping and they needed to get him out fast. So episiotomy is basically a cut into the perineum and it just helped him come out. So... Uh, and baby was on my chest, little Otis. It was brilliant. I was feeding him and I was losing lots and lots of blood. So the midwife um, was quite concerned at this point. Um, lots of doctors came in um, and it was quite traumatic. So if you want to turn this video off, that's absolutely fine. But I'm just going to carry on and tell you all. So um, he... The midwife, um, we thought it was the episiotomy at first, um, but then there was blood coming out, squirting out basically. So she like sort of pressed the emergency, doctors came in. Um, we had a, an, an, um, a oh, I don't know what they're called, a surgeon, come in to sew me up and she tried to stop the blood, but she didn't know where the blood was coming from, which was scary. Liam, bless him, was in the corner he couldn't even sit next to me because I had dot doctors all around me putting cannulas in. Um, I was fine. Like I had the gas and I was loving life and I had Otis on my chest. I was absolutely fine. Liam was quite traumatised by the experience. Um, but couldn't find where the blood was coming from. Anyway, it took them 45 minutes to sew me up, stop the bleeding. Um, and it was actually um, my episiotomy was bleeding, obviously. Um, and then two blood vessels burst whilst giving birth and my womb wasn't contracting and I was also bleeding. Um, so there was a lot going on. But again, 45 minutes later, I was back on the labour ward with Otis and it was just the best thing ever. Um, but like I said, Liam was quite traumatised and shocked by this. Um, he was absolutely unreal, but understandably shocked. Um, but yeah, so it was quite full on. Anyway, um, we got back on the labour ward and we just had this, the next few hours was just us, was feeding him. And that's another story, which I think I'll make another video on of like postpartum video and like how my feeding's gone. Let me know if you want me to film that video because um, I want to do one on feeding and like my experience on feeding. Um, I might do it after like a month and explain exactly what happened to me and stuff but a little bit basically because I lost I lost 1.8 litres of blood um they wanted to try and do a transfusion but because of this my milk wouldn't didn't come in for a long time um I've no put that on Instagram as well um sorry if I seem dazed by the way <laughs> I was trying to reload all this information onto this video but I really 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 wanted to share it with you um so yeah let me know if you want me to do a feeding video and like a postpartum video uh, I've actually been to the midwife today to check my perineum and that's all fine um Otis is doing really well we need to try and up his feeding though to try and get him back to his birth weight but I'm not concerned about that but yeah, it's all going really well. Um, thank you for watching this video. It's probably going to be a long one. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Um, like I said, it's been a really positive experience for me. And just euphoric is the only way I can describe it. Like, oh, just amazing. But I hope this has um, helped some of you. Um, honestly best experience ever and you can do it you really can if you're watching this and you're pregnant like don't be afraid the professionals are there to do their jobs and you'll be fine um but yeah thank you so much again for watching guys um 
I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe um, and thank you for following me on this little journey. I'm absolutely loving making YouTube videos, but I don't know how regular I'm going to be at the moment. I think once I'm into sort of a routine, it'll become more regular. But I want to film lots of motherhood videos uh, along with my cleaning and organisation. But that's probably going to be a few weeks yet because my house is not clean or organised. <laughs> Although we're doing all right, we're doing fine. Um, I do this like morning routine which I might film while Liam and Otis have a little cuddle in bed. I just love it. You know what I'm like, guys. I love my morning routine. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for watching and being part of this journey. Let me know what else you'd like me to film motherhood-wise. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you, guys.